everyone, and welcome to the Iowan Adventures, a world created and ruled by the Fae. I will be your dungeon master or uh, shenanigan sovereign. I sneeze stars. You can find me in places like TikTok and Instagram, and also here tomorrow night for Diary of a Dragon Pit. Um, let's see. That's what I have to say today. Pyrea. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Pyrea. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, if you're interested in your own D&D &D, uh, character commissions as well, you can find me on the d, &D Denial server under the recommendation tab if you are looking for art to yourself. And I will be playing Elaywin Elanthris, the Chronology Wizard. And let's go up to uh, James. Not James. James is not here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> guys it's Which one of us did you think it's, is names it's okay no i was looking at a rev's thing i'm sorry nick <laughs> i mean nick. i can kind of take that as a compliment we kind of look similar i was staring at it and i was like oh okay that's what they did and then my brain just it's fine it's fine clearly it's fine. Uh, the day is going great for me <laughs> it's okay. i just noticed that you were in a new room so i mean it's it's fair Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Nick. Uh, I play Edgar, uh, our forge cleric, um, who likes to stuff dead bodies in his bag of holding uh, and not tell anyone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like people <laughs> who looked extremely freaked out. Um, so, yeah, that's a little insight on Edgar. Um, so, yeah, no socials to plug. Uh, Find us on our Discord channel uh, at D in Denial. Uh, I am under Sword X Pen, of course. Uh, and next is uh, Dan. That's me. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. Um, I play. Tonight, I'm going to be playing Damascus Steel, the half elf bard warlock who really needs to learn to be much more careful what he says when dealing with the Fae and gods and just, just choose his words a little bit more precisely so he doesn't keep agreeing to shit he doesn't mean to. But it's fine. I it, mean, you it, could be getting married now. Who knows? All you have to say is two little words. I do. I do not. And you did, though. I did. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> Last well, time. Hold on. One. Uh, it is uh, three words, seven letters. <laughs> it's I love you. Okay. Um, <laughs> my, that. Jesus. Okay. I, so this is going to be a good game. <laughs> Last time in AA, episode 21, Little Golem Girl. After making sure that the important people in the Clara School in Farage hated them. The party swung by the morgue to stress out a dead girl and then decided to leave town. Uh, while traveling, Elewin had a heart-to-heart -heart with Talon and found out that Faiza wasn't born but created. Uh, Damascus continued to tease his god and patron with hope of his affections. Sad boy Arev set Elewin Al up for death by giving her a tear and said tear, uh, by giving her a tear, and Elewin being unable to resist the temptation of knowledge, cast ta scan timeline using said tear. Um, she learned that Arev has three souls stuck inside of him, and two of them are ancient. Uh, she then immediately took 20 d10 damage and died dead. For the second time in his life, Edgar failed at being able to revivify someone and yeah. the party called Belos for help to which she did not arrive with Elewin's soul until Damascus made another promise to her but once brought back to life he immediately recanted because that's how deals with the Fey work right um, Elewin and Belos noticed that an unusually quiet Faiza's eyes had gone all black and a small smile was on her face as she watched the scene in front of her unfold. And that is where we come in. I believe Elewin and Belos have just moved towards Faiza while she sits there with a smile on her face watching you guys. 
Uh, are her eyes still black or did they just like flash? they are black right now oh okay Ooh. <laughs> uh and they kind of like reach her hand out towards Faza and she's gonna go Faza are are you all right um did everyone notice no just those two right now gotcha we did a, a perception check yeah. so Faza, her head turns toward you. How far did you put this hand out? Just like, like in front of, of her, reaching so she can grab. Yeah, it. yeah, she, sure. <laughs> her head turns towards you, and her hand slowly reaches out and puts your hand in hers and grabs it. Faza's not here right now, oh, and then looks back at Bella eyes like almost like glowing with a black sort of tinge as she looks at Bella and goes it's been so long since I've seen your face and she gently drops your hand and kind of sort of squats pulls herself up and squats on the couch that she's sitting on and reaches her hands towards Beloth's face and grabs the side of it, pulls it towards her and is like, so long and yet here you are. You see Beloth right now, guys, uh, I'm only insight. This is this is gonna be a really great game, you guys. That's a seven in total. Seven in total. <laughs> it's gonna cool, be a cool. great, great 15. night to make dumb choices. Fifteen. All right. Damascus, you've Damascus and Edgar, you've just been like alerted to something being wrong with Faza. Um and now you've seen her reach out and grab the side of Beloth's face. Damascus, you can see that Beloth is almost frozen, just like, oh shit shocked kind of doesn't know what to do um and then the hand still on bella's face caressing it looks around her head turns to you guys and looks over you taking all of you in you're all here but different less why what have you done, Bella? And Bella is like, I haven't done anything. As she takes uh, Faze's hands and just pulls them back away from her face, pulls it down. Get out of that, little girl. This little girl, this form, so small, all of you. She's nice. I like her. I think I'll keep it. No. At that point, Damascus is going to go over to Faza and just be like, she ain't yours to keep. And try and put a hand on like her shoulder and just, Faza, darling, if you're in there, if you can hear me, you're stronger than this. And you don't need her. Lock her away again. Kick her out. You, you've completely gotten to Mina's attention right now, who just turns to you as you grab this shoulder and, and like gives you this look that's like loving almost and just reaches out and puts a hand on the side of your face. It's like, I like this form too, but I've liked all of your forms. You like this, Faza. It's a sweet girl. She Very is strong. Very she, strong. She is strong. You are strong, Faza. That's why you don't need to listen to her. And Tamina takes a step back and goes, Where are we? Looking around this place. Not 
not an eye win, but an eye win. Remember that you're in your house. Well, I'm definitely glad this went tits up. So, <laughs> uh, Edgar's going to walk into the kitchen and grab something to eat. There goes Edgar. Edgar has had a really hard time. He's just used a lot of his, uh, you know, mojo to bring, <laughs> try and heal up, uh, you know. Well, if we're going to die today, uh, not going to die hungry. Uh, always, and- always the clear-headed one. Very practical. Thank you, sister. You got you. <laughs> that laugh comes out of her. She walks around this place, picking things up, looking at it like it's new and like precious, and then putting it back down. I hear Damascus. Damascus. She says it's Damascus. I hear you make deals all the time. I make poor decisions, that's for sure. Yes, I'm aware. That does it. You can make deals. Why can this one not? Because she's smarter than I am. Smarter. Definitely smarter. Definitely stronger. Mina, can you walk in this world without Phaser? No. No, I oh, can't. No, and not yet. Because you occupy in a form that contains someone I happen to like very much. The that's head just problem. tilts as she looks at you. And that's not a problem. Yet. Well, maybe that's something we can work on. But for now, I'm going to ask you to give me back my Ladrin friend. What does this form mean to you? Your big breakable mortals are. Though, not quite real, this one is. Just like picking at her clothing. Something off. Beloff hasn't said a word this whole time other than like getting her off her. What's the status of whatever portal or gate or thing they've been trying to open for you? Surely you know. She walks back towards you. It's almost as if phase is like gliding towards you. It looks at you as you ask these questions. So, these big black eyes just like stare at you for a second. She goes. Held by a thread. As she points to herself. Held by a thread. But. Would you like to know something? I don't know who's bringing me back. I didn't do this. Didn't she do this? Didn't she do what? Who? She She said you've been talking to her in her dreams and you offered her a deal. I've offered her many deals. She said no to most of them. She said no to this one? How are you here? How am I here? Small deal. Just to say hello to old friends and loved ones. I miss you all. I thought perhaps it was you that were bringing me back, but you don't even know who you are. As she I mean, walks away from you and back to Beloff. 
somebody's been playing with magic that they don't know how to control. And you could almost see Bella bites her tongue. She's just like, like, you trying to fight a blush. She's embarrassed at that one. I could fix this for you if you let me back. She says we shouldn't. Who says? Bella. This one. Yes. yes. Still mad, are we? She looks at Belloth. And Belloth's like, still mad? Yes, I'm still mad. Get, give me this child back. You're in one of mine. Mad about what? Hush, you. <laughs> Belloth turns to you and is just, shh. How do never you so little? You've never claimed, Phaser. Yeah, it seems kind of says you didn't make her. So you can't change your mind now. Yeah, I thought we were supposed to be on the same side here. Well, if we're on the same side, you don't hide things. Mortals are fun, aren't they? uh, Tamina looks at Bella like, this is just, she's enjoying herself right now. Uh, at, at this point in time, Edgar's going to come out with uh, cheese and crackers for everyone, and he's going to go around offering them to everyone. You see, um, Tamina just interesting. And she does take them <laughs> and then eats them. Nothing weird happens to him when she touches them? No. Oh, it's good. So how are how long are you going to be staying with us, Tamina? Not long. I'm not actually here. I'm still sitting at my throne. But soon. Soon I, mean, I think I'll return. So you're gonna let FaZa take back control? She's still here. Yes, but who is Who's driving the carriage? Currently, I am. That's what I was getting at. Hmm. You all care so much about this vessel. She ain't just a vessel, she's a person. No. She's a vessel. Things can be two things. I mean... We're technically all vessels, if you think about it. You are. For souls that shine brighter than the ones that you have. That doesn't make us them. No. Any more than that body you're wearing is you. This body was made for me. Say you come back. I will. Whole, then what? What then happens to this? Back. And what happens to this world and those who call it home? The darkness returns. You live on. Do we? Why? Do you think that I would stop you? How's Belloth react when you say that? To which part? That people would be able to live when Tamina comes back because Belloth has told us the exact opposite. Belloth's eyes kind of just roll a little bit like, yeah, right. Mm. Like she doesn't believe that. Okay. (sighs) Why were you originally sealed away? You really remember nothing. We died a lot, so. Died a lot. I imagine it's rather traumatic. Unfortunately, from what we've been told. 
She looks almost confused at this. Your bodies change. We are reborn anew. And then she looks at at Beloth. What happened? We got rid of you and eventually they decided that shut up. That's what happened. Get out of here. And what you see is her hand starts to glow and she places it on the middle of Faze's forehead and just the entire room glows with just a white, 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 white light. So much so that you guys have to shield your eyes. And as it goes away, suddenly you see Faze's eyes are back to normal, her orange color as she's staring up at Beloth. And Beloth has her hands on her forehead and takes it back. I thought you were saying no to her. (laughs) And you see tears kind of well up in Faze's eyes. As she looks at you all and then looks at Bella and goes, Yeah. And then I found out I wasn't real. So what does it matter? I think Damascus is gonna go hug Faza. Just be like, it's all right. She lets you. She doesn't pull away or anything. Okay. Just very chill. It's fine. It's a decision you made and we deal with it. It's okay. You all right? You, you? Yes, I need you, Vasquez. <laughs> I just, she's wiping like the tears away really quickly. It shoves at you. Okay. I'd be. <laughs> can, can I do an insight check? I want to know if she's actually her. <laughs> yeah, roll me an insight check on Faisa. 18. Seems like Faisa. Okay. Seems like Faisa. If if you agreed, then why why did she say she doesn't know who brought her back? I didn't. That seems like something that you should have asked her. I didn't have the opportunity. I don't think it. Bella crosses her arms and just looks at you like, what? Say something. What? I I think what she meant was is that she doesn't know who's actually at the head of the cult. Yeah. I don't think she knows who's responsible for opening the door in the first place to even give her the foothold to be able to come (laughs) through. I suppose I could make a guess. Uh, sorry, Damascus. Uh, you were created just like us, whether or not manufactured or through the old-fashioned way. Uh, you were created. You still have a life of your own. So you, I count that as alive in my book. What he said. You notice that Faze is kind of just, she doesn't, she's not really taking all of this in. She is staring at Beloth like she wants to punch this bitch. Um, and she, you roll me insight on Faze for a second. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nice. Okay. Eleven. 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 Uh, Okay, okay, hey. okay. <laughs> I have a plus seven, and I've rolled a two and a four. I have expertise in it. I have a plus eight. I rolled a three. <laughs> yep. It's going to be a great night. Uh, 
you can tell Alaywin that floodgates are about to come out. Like, like you, it's almost like back when she threw a plate of eggs and fell off. Uh, she's gonna like walk over to Faza and put her hands on her shoulder and like look at her. And she's gonna cast Purge. And as she does that and like the light like seeps through her, she's gonna go, we are going to keep you safe. We will figure this out. And she's not going to take you. We'll figure this out. And she'll like let her hands. She promises to do lots of things if she comes back. Like Threaven. She could get Threaven back. Yes. Lots of different ways to do lots of different things. You know none of them. Not currently. I mean, technically I'm working on it, but... And then she looks at Beloth and says... I'm yours when you don't want anything to do with me. And you can hear like her, like she's sobbing a little bit. Like you, you don't want anything to do with me. You said that I was one of yours, your creations, the Eladrin. You know, all of them and you didn't know me. And then you're going to try and say that, that I'm yours just because someone else finds value in having me. And Beloth is like, I suppose that you're, you're still one of mine. I may not know you. You're created in the image of my babies. And then you hear uh, faces like, then why didn't you come for me? And you see uh, Belloff kind of like, I didn't know you existed or I would have. Well, now you do. And you know that she needs a little watching over. Unfortunately, she's already been claimed by someone else. Yeah, we're going to deal with that. And how? Are we going to deal with that? I don't know just yet. Didn't the gods make, I don't know, everything? Don't you guys have some sort of, I don't, your lights, when your lights are in the sky, are those lights or is it magic? Is it like, I don't know what's real and what's not, but the that story that Damascus was talking about, where the gods like their energy made Ioan and you know what I'm talking about. Is that what your lights are? Is that a power source of some sort? Yes. Sort of. I made them. In the beginning, it's just a show. Something pretty to look at. And then they became something else. Every 500 years or so, I'd feel a weakening in, I don't know, dimensions. 
where I went in the veil of everything else gets thinner and I would reinforce it with them. So things don't come through. If we are whatever we are, why can't we figure out how to do something like that? If With my lights? Well, no, I mean, do they all have that kind of energy, power, light? I don't know what to call it. But my point is, if, if we are gods, can't we just figure it out? There's no reason we can't find another solution for Tamina. We can tap into our powers. We can do basically the same thing you did, but a little more permanent. You ever think maybe the reason you got to do it every 500 years is that you're doing it alone? Yes, Damascus, I have thought of that. You know, it was real nice of you all to just help me banish the darkness and then fuck off so that I had to deal with this on my own for years. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. Wow. If it, ain't, I had, it ain't us. Don't you be sassy with me. Cheese and cracker. <laughs> you see, you see like a little vein in her temple twitch a little bit. She's just like... I'm okay. Thank you. I th- I think you need to eat something. You get you, you might be a little a little hangry. Maybe you're not yourself when you're hungry. I didn't want to say those exact <laughs> words, but yes. <laughs> and Alewin, to answer your question about uh, power, uh, uh, our forms might not be able to take the the power without exploding. Maybe or disintegrating, or turning into a gelatinous cube, or just falling apart. Nobody understands, at the very least. You are mortal. What's inside of you is not. You're a vessel, okay? You're a vessel. You are. The nicest way for me to put it, you're holding their souls so that they can come back. All right, well, what do we do with them? Well, I've continuously told you to live your life, but need, none of you have decided that you're going to do that. You're decided that you're going to like, I don't know, take on the darkness and, and get yourself killed by casting magic that you can't control. So I have never been more frustrated. Why did I do this to myself? I should have just let you die. I mean, that's that's a little harsh. Um, uh, a little harsh. That that's a little harsh. You know what's harsh? Abandoning your creations. You know what's harsh? Casting. An, a supreme being out of this world and then decided you were done with it. You didn't care what happened to it. You gave everything life and you let it suffer because you were sad. And isn't it also harsh to punish your, your family? Because they were wanting to be whole again. Because punish you, I stopped you from disappearing. I didn't mean to get you stuck. I thought we have been through this. You're right, but you're saying how harsh we've been about having all of everything in creation suffer. When I don't know. We might have just been in a funk, like how we were mad at Tamina, and now we're here to where I don't know if this is any better than what it would have been beforehand. I mean, there are multiple possibilities that this is 
one of the worst things that has ever happened. You think? It's also possible that it's not. True. But I'm sorry, it's not? She said that she doesn't, that, that even if she came back, she'd let us live our lives. I mean, just met her. We sealed her away for God knows how long, fell off. Um, you think she got over it in that amount of time, or is she biding her time to go and just keep on murdering us through the whole entire loop all over again for all eternity? You think I can't I don't know I don't know if she got over it I mean it was generally a question for Damascus whether or not he's ready to trust someone that we only talked to for what a few minutes um. Not exactly ready to trust, no. But I am trying to find alternative solutions. Because, Beloth, even if we follow your plan, live our lives, die natural deaths, and bomb and Atma and Vida, and we all come back, who's to say they've changed their minds? You locked them away. Who's to say they ain't still pissed? That they don't still want to just peace out and call it a day? That's what I'm saying. At least the four of us have a vested interest in protecting this world. You mean five because our Ev is just standing over there in the corner? Right. <laughs> Sorry, Rev. Okay. It's fine. We don't. We haven't known each other that long. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, you can help us out. Or we'll take your chances on people you know were angry the last time you spoke to them. We might not be gods, but we got the souls in us. Maybe we can use that. You want me to find a way to merge you with them? Maybe we can access just a fraction of the powers enough to seal Tamino away for good. It's an idea. And we seem to be short on them them at the moment. Can I insight Damascus? Yes, you can. (laughs) What are you checking for? Out of everything, like, the past few sessions, we've been, I mean, it's always been, like, a teeter-totter of, oh, Tamina might be all right. Tamina might be bad. I'm just wondering what he's after, because we're now on the side of, let's seal Tamina away instead of trying to help her out. Yeah, you guys flip back and forth all the time. Go ahead. Roll roll your insight. Uh, Are you rolling deception or anything? Um. I will either roll a deception or a perception, a persuasion. Is that a nat one? No, I actually rolled a 19 for a 26. That's pretty good. What are you rolling? Can can I roll either a persuasion or a deception without telling you which one it is? No, Um, you (laughs) are, you've just been incited. So are you about, are you trying to hide what he's, what he would be able to get from you? Um, No. Um, I think with the 26, I'm not going to try and he's not going to try and hide anything. Damascus wants to, Damascus wants two things. He promised he'd protect Faza, and every single thing that we have found seems to indicate that, uh, letting Tamina free 
is going to basically either end or result in the possession of Faza. And I mean, sealing darkness away to save the world makes for a really good story. And he wants to write a really good story. Nice. He, he wants to be the star of his own story. That's that's still how he's, at least in the back of his head, what he's thinking. With a 26, I think you can tell that. Cool of both. What are you going to do with that information, Edgar? I, I'm probably keep my mouth shut because I don't, I don't know. It's Damascus. I think I'll say, you know what, if he, if Edgar was able to glean that from you, Beloff definitely would be able to. Oof. And you see her just kind of like turn towards you, walk towards you a little bit. If I were to help you, you would banish the darkness permanently. I look at Faza and go, if that's the only way to keep Faza safe, I mean, it's not my decision. There are five of us, but if that's the only way to keep Faza safe, then yeah, if. If. You do that a lot, don't you? Ask for help, get what you want, and then try and recant. I don't know why you're fighting this so much. All you want to be is famous, and I could make you infamous, baby. But I appreciate the offer. I think if we're going to be doing this, we'll get famous on our own. And there are other things that you can help us with. Black like wood. Figuring out how to access this massive pile of god magic that seems to be brewing up in all of us. Like making it so next time Edgar tries to bring somebody back from the dead when we do something stupid, it works. Maybe stop doing something stupid. I make no promises. I. What do y'all think? What... Where do we go I, from here? Honestly, I'm a little dumbfounded. And the, and the only reason I say that is because you said no to Bella. I think that this... I mean, I think I, I remember hearing something in Frosh. Maybe at Frosh, she's... It's like a Kodak moment. Um, I don't know what the hell that means. But I just... I think it needs to be thrown out there to say, I think this is a Kodak moment. He said no to Beloth, which I'm actually fully surprised about as much as you, Beloth. So yeah, I'm dumbfounded. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm working on being a little more careful with my words. I'll look over at Bella. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's she looks a little fed up with this, and it's just like, well, if we've had our power out, I'm gonna leave now. Can I try to make a deal with you? You want to make a deal with me, honey? What deal would you like to make? I'm going to swish over uh, my anvil bag and take out Gwen's head. Oh, my. (sighs) 
you see her kind of put her hand up, a little bit of a white light goes across it, and she goes, you have the head of a construct that you're carrying around. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking at Pyre's face. <laughs> <laughs> Laban's having a hard time, you guys. <laughs> okay, we're we're all having a hard time. Um, I need to figure out how to to fix it, and it's either I talk to you about it or I talk to Tamina. No, you think you can get in contact with Tamina? I. I think I can manage it. I mean, you're welcome to try. But I think all contact goes to this little one over here. She points to um, Faza. And Faza's looking at the head that you have in your hands right now. And is just looking at you like, why? Why would you do this? These are the people that held me captive and made me for this and have Literally done nothing but ruin my life. And hey, but let's I'll... bring them back to life. Westbrook Soul. What? She and that was phase by the way. She just turns around and yeah. stops. Like, what? What? Are you so- what? <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? I couldn't hear you over the high pitched squealing noise coming from the corner. A ref. God damn it, a ref! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is just a little bit much for me. Um. (laughs) Where's Gwyn's stall? Where did it go? (sighs) All right, you know what? Somebody get me something to drink. And she materializes like a really plush chair for herself. She sits down. And, And something strong, please. Alcohol. We're going to have this chat. We're going to have this chat. I thought she was going to pull out like an amazing like cheese board and I'm just over here with these crackers. On the and- table, she pulls out um, uh, a charcuterie of just like cheese, <laughs> crackers, meats, grapes, you know, fruit, a whole bunch of stuff. On the table. Bitch. <sighs> she flips her hair over her shoulder and she just looks at you like alcohol. Just summon a pile of cheese. You can't just summon it. Fine, I just tried. You know what? I'd it would be the drink. small <laughs> things. The small things. And by the time you get back, she has a thing of ambrosia for herself to drink. She just wanted you to walk away and go. <laughs> <laughs> and she sits down and crosses her legs, takes a sip. I'm sorry. Where were we? What are we talking about again? Uh, restoring. The golem the to its soul, right? The soul. <laughs> this construct that you have here, it's new. We haven't had things like this. How do I say this? They've been popping up throughout the years here and there. And They're from a mortal that has found a way to barter their soul to something else. And I don't know where they go. I think if I'm following it right, it's another dimension. The souls get sold to another dimension. I don't know why. Whatever is buying them or given taking these souls, it does not like me. We do not get along, and we uh, it uh, we avoid each other, sort of. Not avoid. Uh, it avoids me. What does it look like? Do you know? I don't know. Is there any chance? All I do is see the aftermath. Is there any chance it's Tamina using them? Using the souls to gain power. I, Tamina just said she didn't know why she was coming back or who was calling her. Is 
she's not. Probably not her. What what truth is there in uh, Apna? Apna, the the legend. It's talking about souls there, right? Is that a thing? The mother of sickness. Well, it's all been entirely crazy since we've started, so there could be some truth in anything. I think one of your first cycles died having to do with apnea. I don't remember if she killed you or you killed her. She was a thing. I have not seen her in a very long time. The stories say she sacrificed herself to give souls to her children. Corrected them. Yes. Right? What was that? Uh, she collected them for her children, right? I have a really bad idea. Oh, that's nothing new. So what is it? <laughs> Lewin, you can manipulate time to a degree, correct? Yes. I mean, obviously, she's Do you a chronologist. Think, I know that. Do you <laughs> think it's possible that Apna made deals through time? That these people who've been trading their souls away haven't been trading them to another dimension, but trading them back in time to Apna to fuel her children. It seems really complicated. I, I, yes, maybe. It seems complicated, but what's time when we're talking about? you know, cosmic powers and what have you. I know that you can manipulate a timeline. That do you at least? You know that, do you? Successfully. And how, how did she learn that? The, the books, the things about the, the butterflies and... They were working on taking things out of timelines. You just see her put up her hand again and it glows as she gets the information that she needs. Oh, you little shit! <laughs> I forgot. That's, she can, she's super good at this. I forgot. Go, go. I see, I see. That's interesting. What? Who is this Bass's creature? Oh. A dead thing walking around in my world. I think I have someone to go and see. Eh, mm, no. <laughs> uh, what an interesting experiment he'll be, isn't it? She takes a drink. Or has been. His, that's true as well. Ooh. Uh, I don't... I don't quite know where he is or if he's on a timeline or what's going on or if he's still in a bubble. Don't lie to me, darling. It doesn't work well. well no, I'm not 100% sure. Well, Belloth, I don't know if you know this, but Alewin has been always 100% truthful to us and would never lie. So the last time we saw Bysis was in the sewers when uh, when Gwen turned into a construct or was a construct for the whole duration of her life because of how cold and heartless she was. But um, nevertheless, Alewin uh, 100% certified truthful. Whisper to Faza, he's too innocent for this world. Oh my god. 
and you see like Faisa, by the way, is like she's got her, she's sitting beside Bella, like, like not bes- like on the floor, legs crossed, like she's got, she's munching on these cheese and crackers. She's suddenly really hungry. Again, um, I'm fucking pissed. Still <laughs> have the goddamn tray. No. She's ta- no, she's eating your tray. Good. Thank you, Faisa, okay. for She's eating your tray of cheese and crackers. Um, Probably the smart thing to do. And it's just like, yeah, I mean, I don't understand how I was created and I'm, and and you're more naive than I am. It's just, it's not right. Faza. Yeah. Stop pulling my leg. Okay. I don't I don't appreciate this joke. Um, but nevertheless, um so yes. You you can see um Beloff's eyes have not left um, a late one. As she's looking at her like, oh, uh-huh. for sure you aren't aware of that or who he is or where is he? Mm-hmm. Yes. So it was your, it was your mentor that created a, him from what I gather from your knowledge. I find that a little offensive that you can do that. Honestly. Oh, I know. Uh, well, then I'm not sure why I'm answering your questions. You seem to know everything. All right. We're going to be pissy pants. That's fine, too. And you see, um, she puts the glass on the table and sort of just runs a finger, a finger through, like, uh, Faze's hair just curls it around her finger for a second. Faze is just like, motherfucker, <laughs> right? Andrew, darling, give me that head that you have. Uh, can I at least say one more thing? Yes. You know, it was going to be a compliment. All right, uh, then. I appreciate everything that you're doing and the knowledge that you are bringing forth today. And I sincerely mean this. And he'll hand the head over to her. She takes it and she holds it in her hands. And uh, you see her hand kind of start to glow. She puts it in front of her. And she, her eyes begin to glow. And she's like, she's got like a little like crease in her brow. She's like very confused for a second as she's going through something it's almost like you can see people like you can see little figures like running through in her eyes like really quickly like 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 a movie you know almost right she's just like going through this this uh woman's life and uh uh-huh. <laughs> yes can i put my hand on her shoulder to go and see if i can see through her eyes do it yes you can I will put my hand on her shoulder to go and see if I can't gleam into whatever the fuck she's looking at. The moment you touch her shoulder, it's almost like your hand gets glued there. This almost like electricity runs up through your arm and into your whole body and you're stuck. Your eyes glow a bright, bright white and you see her, you see like Gwen's life start flashing between your like through your mind and it's you know um this young this young beautiful elf um deciding that she's going to be a cleric and she shows up at the school and she does these exams and she is actually really good at something for once and that's like such a huge accomplishment and then you know she gets a scholarship to finish her schooling because she wasn't actually very well off. Um, And she's really enjoying helping people. And she finds out that she's really good at, at forging things. She's, this is something that comes almost naturally to her and she doesn't know why. And she spends all this, all of her time in the forge and eventually, you know, makes it to becoming an instructor. And then from becoming an instructor, she becomes the head of the, um, of the forge guild at some point. And she's like, just her life kind of just going up, 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 up. And then she meets this other elf and his name is Arbonne. And 
she falls head over heels in love with him. And they're, they have an amazing relationship. It's full of just love and like someone for someone who doesn't have a heart, she has done nothing so far than, but help people and work towards bettering herself and the world. And she falls in love with her bond. And one night he comes home and he's been pretty badly beaten up. He's been in a fight of some kind. And she's, you know, she's on his case, like, what happened? Why, what's going on here? And he finally goes, I'm leaving. She's, she's just shocked. Like, what, what is happening? Like, what's happening? Like, where did this even come from? And he's like, I have to go with these people. We have to. There's something that we need to fight. And she's like, well, let the other people deal with it. You know what I mean? Like there are other people that can deal with this. We have armies. You don't, it doesn't have to be you. And he's just like, it does. And as he holds her hands, you see that like his hands start to glow and become this blue frosty white as he shows her who he is for the first time. And he gives her a kiss on the cheek and he goes, I have to leave. And pretty much just leaves her just broken crying there on the floor as she's like, I don't understand what's happening. Not only am I losing the love of my life, but God, the gods are actually real. And I think I was sleeping with that one. I don't understand what's happening right now, but I pray to beat her. And I bet that was like, you know, and she has like this breakdown and doesn't the next time that she sees Arvon is covering up his face with a white cloth as he has died um, in a huge battle for a town that just seemed to come out of nowhere. No one really understood what happened, but she's lost. She's not really processing everything. And you see her begin to spiral completely spiral out of things look into start looking into things that go down what is it, champions of the gods reincarnations of the gods um how can i like focusing on how to bring arbon back to her and then she finds out that there's a cycle and that he'll be reborn So she waits and she waits and she waits and she makes a deal that you kind of see. And this is where the, um, the images kind of get a little bit um, hazy. You can't make out who she's talking to, but it's a black figure and it almost looks like it's been burnt out of her memories and she makes a deal. And you see this black figure come up and put a hand on her chest and pull her soul out of her as she waits for Edgar. And then Edgar shows up and they don't get along and he's not our bond and they're not, this is not right. And then everything starts to speed up really fast. She's like, well, I've seen, we know what happens here. It's fine. Fast forward. Fast forward. <laughs> fast forward. I, I don't know what this figure was. As she kind of like almost rewinds and goes back to that one black figure. And then something happens and it jiggles and it skips again. And uh, you hear kind of like waves of an ocean, like water. And then it skips again and it's that black figure. and pulling something out of her chest and then you almost get booted out kind of and fell off his back and went that's all she looks at you holding her and she had no idea that you were grabbing onto her and seeing all of that uh can i help you uh yeah you're gonna know what i'm gonna ask next Oh, for fuck's sakes. Go ahead. 
I thought you knew. Yeah, see? Well, any, anyway, um, other than that, my hand is currently stuck to your shoulder. It's when it, when um, you, when she comes out of it, your hand can <laughs> he knows. pop away. Okay. Um, and so he'll try to grab the head with his other hand while not letting go of her shoulder. What are you doing? I was trying to grab Gwen's head back. Okay, yeah, let go and I will give it to you. I can't. When we went and had that fission, my hand fused to your shoulder. So we're, we're kind of stuck. She just shoves you back. And I'm going to need you to make a strength saving throw. I'll let it happen. Yeah, she just shoves you off of her and then hands you the head back. So she did sell her soul. And it seems like it was for you, of all people. Very shocking. Very shocking, yeah. Phaser. Yeah. Still eating. You know how you're the vessel for Tamina. Damascus is the vessel for Bomb. And then there's the triangle that Damascus and Bomb. Would I know that? Oh, he did. You Damascus. have. You sh- yeah, I think you should. Damascus would have told you everything. Yeah. Damascus doesn't keep secrets, unlike the rest of the party. Like some people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. They haven't had like a casual moment to sit down, everybody. <laughs> I know. Again, this is the. This is a great running okay. line that. It's amazing. That Elaywin would never lie. Oh. It's like my favorite. Yep. 100% would not lie to us. Um, so what were we doing? Uh, weird love triangle between you three and how it's traveling over and through the vessels. And apparently I'm the reborn of, I guess, soulmates. Do you and who? I'm sorry. What <laughs> you you see Bella start to like giggle a little bit? <laughs> what <laughs> you think that she was your soulmate? <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, I mean, obviously you're giggling at this. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. That was completely inappropriate. Continue. I, I mean, it sounds weird, so I'm okay with you laughing at it. Um. This is coming from a guy who carried around a fucking construct of a dead girl that we killed in a yeah, bag. That's for... weird, honey. Even like I've been around forever and that's weird. I don't know what to tell you, Belloth. All right. Welcome to the show. <laughs> yeah, what a shit show it is. So you're asking me if that was your soulmate? No, I'm not asking you if if she was my soulmate, we've, I've already come to the conclusion. That's what we were. Um, okay. Which is weird. Um, she might've been your soulmate. She wouldn't have been Vader's soulmate. Does that make sense? Well, I don't know. Did Vader have any girlfriends or anything or people he was with or. No. Vader was very solo. Cool. Um, anyway. Um, God, this is so much information going through my head. Uh, what, <laughs> what does the ocean... What the fuck is the ocean? Who is know. the ocean? And how is she related to all of this? Know. The goddess of the ocean. Her name is Oziana. She is an anomaly, and I don't know where she came from. No one does. Do you know where she is? Where in the fucking ocean? Like anywhere <laughs> specific. <laughs> like sometimes you have a hard time pinpointing things, like with the death cult. <laughs> so I kind of figured she's not she was wrong. <laughs> Fucking ocean, but <laughs> 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 um, Brendan, 
man, it's like <laughs> trees have leaves or some shit, or the sky is blue. I do not go into her domain. Why not? For fuck's sakes, Edgar. Because it is another god's domain. It is her domain. She is more, she is powerful down there in the luck. Lo- I don't know if you know this, but the deeper that you go in the ocean, the less light there is. Actually, I didn't because I don't fuck with the ocean. Well, that is smart, and we should keep it that way. But you're telling me you weren't in the least bit curious at all about her. You just, oh, I'm, nope. are assholes all right okay yes i was curious i went and i saw her a couple bajillion years ago she's strong all right she kicked my ass and i went back up to my own place okay now i am done with these questions because you are horrible people and don't call on me again damascus fuck it just snaps her fingers and there's like a light that just disappears I think you made it bad. I mean, I was actually going to give her a hug because she seemed like she needed a hug. You just, you know, somewhere out in her world, she is raging and destroying things. <laughs> um, hey, Bell off. Fuck off. <laughs> I was going to ask if you wanted me to make you anything. <laughs> I just you'd get no answer. All right, just just think about it. <laughs> I'll try thinking about it too. You just hear crackers crunch as Faza <laughs> eats his cheese wheel. <laughs> like, oh shit! So this is going well. So we figured <laughs> out how to make Bella leave is for me to ask her a whole bunch of fucking questions. I sort of already knew that. She seems to leave anytime we ask her a ton of questions. She feels uncomfortable answering. I mean, we learned a decent amount. That is true. More than usual, at least. So... Um, just... As you guys are going through this, a lay win. It's like maybe two minutes after Beloff leaves, and you get a message that's just right in your head. Uh, and it says, What the fuck did you do? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Spice says, What the fuck did you do? Uh, no. <laughs> Oh. oh, and that's all that you get. That's everything. Continue, guys. Would we have oh. noticed her getting a message in her brain? It's sending, so I don't think so. She's the only one that hears it. No, She's like the shock like, over her face of hearing. Oh, what well, the- roll that's- me an inside check on her. <laughs> Yeah, she's straight. Are you trying to hide face. it? Well, no, I'm I'm thinking she probably can't. Uh so yeah, she's like taking deep oh, breaths. Uh one of them like them saving throw. Me? Yeah. Okay. That's going to be a 14. You're starting to panic a little bit. Oh yeah. Uh you oh, might have yeah. just gotten the only thing that is left of Inimus in this world killed. Oh, she, Who knows, oh, right? Yeah, guys, did you re- did you roll your, your insight? 19. 19? Yeah, something's wrong. 22. Uh, yeah, you can see she just got, she just, some, somebody just, something uh, happened. Elay when you all right? I, I understand oh. it was a lot to, <laughs> to process all that information. It takes a second, so I understand. Mm. Yeah. No, the um, same that. Oh shit, 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 shit. What'd you uh, do? She's gonna cast purge, and you're gonna see that light go through her, and she's gonna calm down like this much. 
Um, uh, <laughs> so I, I sort of made a deal with Vices as well. And, um, you know, so like we all didn't die and um, might be getting him uh, murdered. I don't know. Um, uh, stand, stand by. Uh, I can reply to that, right? Yes, you can. Okay. Um, uh, oh, shit. Uh, she's saying that out loud. Um, <clears throat> and she's going to send a, she's going to reply to Bices. Please leave wherever, wherever you are. Beloth took my memories without asking, trying to figure out where souls are close but not close uh, danger please leave stay safe and she'll leave it there <laughs> you don't you don't get a response oh, yeah of um, course shut ah damascus roll me inside on phaza Sitting there eating her cheese and crackers. Uh, okay, finally a good freaking roll. Uh, Twenty-three. She does not look impressed that you fucking assholes are trying to help the cult members that have made her life a living hell. Well, she, she is, is sitting so there cute. eating these cheese and <laughs> crackers and looking at like she's looking at you, Alewin, right now, just. Chewing like, yeah, okay. So, so I take oh, a- are- he he's trying to figure out what happens with souls, you know. And Helen said some stuff about Phaser that, you know, you hear uh, Talon from figure- just from just like across the room. Don't bring me into this. You can go down this hole, this road by yourself. Not it. <laughs> not it. <laughs> Tapped out. It's not <clears throat> me. I figured that if I could figure out how we could maybe make a soul or where they came from, we could, you know, make sure that Phaser wasn't a vessel anymore and then we could possibly figure out a way, you know, to not have to kill her because apparently that's her purpose but I think that's awful and if I had not agreed to help Isis he would have killed us all and And now I'm just more confused and you think the man who every interaction we've had with him has tried to kill Faiza is going to help you figure out a way to not kill her murdered my brother in front of me also that. Yeah. I, I get why you'd want to get him away, but as far as I can see it, Bella you, taking you him out. You can see Faisa just start putting the cheese and the crackers on another, on that charcuterie board of Belloth. She's just making the plate clean. I, I wouldn't use that, Faisa. For what? What? You didn't use what? As she gets this plate up, in launching position at a lay one. You're going to need something at least a little bit more heavier. I would actually go with the board instead of the plate. <laughs> it shatters though. It might do extra damage. Go on. Tell yeah. me. Tell me how you have been hanging out with the person who murdered my brother. Go on. Also, where did you find the time? Like, you've been, like, super busy and tired. You cannot be this stupid! (laughs) That's just Faisal using her shit. (laughs) Uh, Faisal, I understand we're all going through a lot. You're you're a little bit up here. Gonna gonna need to bring it down a little bit. Can you make me a deck save? I'm just about, I need to see if she hits you. Go ahead. No. (laughs) It's oh. Edgar. She she whipped the plate at Edgar. That's fine. Make me a deck save. I'll take it. Like she just, just 
shatters against your armor. <laughs> okay. You, you want to find that? something else to throw and break? My help. If Let's could... start breaking the sculpture of whatever woman led the cult over here. Give me that head. Do you really want me to even make an excuse up? Because I don't have an excuse. Apparently, soulmate thing, I don't know. Um, I don't really have an excuse. Uh, I don't know what to even say to even try to even make you feel better. Um, okay. I, I like you as, as, as a friend and everything. Like, you... You mean a lot to me, but as a friend, and I don't want you to die or anything like that. Okay, I'm going to go. If I could and... figure this out and figure the whole soul thing out, we could bring Threven back without anybody's help. Okay. We're also going to need to tell, <laughs> talk to Belloth again to go and get his body back in the first place. Unless, at some I'm point, ask it, please, please don't make any more deals. I ain't making a deal. I'm just saying, we've all seen a laywin fiddle with time a little bit. Might be that she can get to the point where we can go back to where Trevin died and take his body before it happened. Well, um, I can. I can see things. Not like the hair thing. But like if we go to a specific spot where we want to see an exact event in the last hundred years, I can see it. So if vices could tell me what they were doing and if they knew how to um, bring souls back, which was what they were trying to do, then we could go to wherever that was and figure it out ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, and Damascus, you can sleep out here. Um, and also, y'all suck! As she gets up. <laughs> and you hear her leave and then Damascus' door slams shut. Click. Okay, Faza, hopefully some, some sleep will be all right with you, and we'll, we'll talk about it more in the morning, I hope. And then you hear, ah! <laughs> I don't think she's happy, guys. Uh, I imagine not. <sighs> also, I wonder what she got in return. In return for what? For letting Tamina use her body for all of five minutes. That's a good question. I mean, he didn't ask. I was going to, and then she stormed off. So I'll ask in the morning. Okay, that's going to go well. <laughs> it's not. No. All right. Uh, I, I understand why you might have worked with Bassus in the first place. As far as I'm concerned, Belloth killing him isn't... A, I mean, personally... I planned on ripping off his wings and tossing him off a high building the next time I met him. But I don't... Hmm. I don't know if working with him is the best way to get what we need, given what he wants. He can't just be helping you out of the goodness of his heart. What's in it for him? He wants... Intimus back. How's he planning on that... going about? How's he planning know. on? Yeah. I've only met with him once, and I was very nervous, and uh, it sort of didn't go that well. I mean, it sort of did, but it didn't, and I don't know. But I also don't know if he. <sighs> I don't know, is 
in this world or if he's operating on his own timeline or somebody else's based off of experiments that Animus was doing. She was trying to bring him back to life because they were married and she apparently, I have not been able to fact check this, um, sold her soul to do such. Do you think it's to the same person that Gwen did? I, I'm assuming that Edgar told us about what happened. I really hope so. Okay. <laughs> would you have shared what you saw with, with Bella? Yeah, <laughs> I would. Okay. Um, that's my best guess. And if we are gods or reincarnations of gods because apparently they knew from a young age so maybe there's some sort of glowing tattoo that we all have on the back of our heads that only some people can see but they knew um so i don't i don't know (laughs) yeah god what one i have to commend you uh for your bravery and just sheer will and i understand why you're tired all the time mainly because you're playing double agent i love it it it's great i thank you for your your service two maybe they all for whatever reason maybe the death cult came over and laid out like eight toys and we picked one up that a previously a previous light like used and the only reason i bring that up because is that is the same plot thing for the avatar the last airbender where he pick up the one toy that the previous all picked up it's the only the only thing that came to mind Um, fair yeah (laughs) <laughs> I... <laughs> but anyway thank you for being a double agent um i appreciate you damascus again i think we should trust her she's only playing this bit to go and get information for us to you... <laughs> everything can go wrong i'll put anything go it. wrong it doesn't matter he's probably dead right now anyway <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard back from him He's still alive. Hope. Um. So yeah, your mic is off, babe. Not playing double agent. At least that's understandable. Maybe let the le- rest of us know what your plans are going forward. Well, if I hadn't been back by midnight, Talon would have come and got you. So I had a backup plan. Uh, he can't hurt me, but he can hurt the rest of you. I am the only one, at least that he knows of, and honestly that I know of, who can do intimacy's magic. So, so we're are we a hundred percent sure he cannot hurt you? Can't or won't? Yeah, won't. Those are very different statements. Think he knows anybody who could to me the same magic and so if he hurt me then you know then he would not get what he wanted and what he wants is to bring Animus back yeah but can't he do that by killing Faison and bringing Tamina back and then bring Animus back that way I'm not sure only because he said that Animus sold her soul to get him back and he didn't know to who or what that meant what he says mean? that opening the, the the gate for Tamina is what he needed but I told him not to hurt any of you or I wouldn't help regardless So what, does he expect you to trade your soul for Animus's? I don't know. 
Are we going to have to stab the ocean? Because I don't think that's going to work. Have we tried? Uh, we haven't. <laughs> that's what we do next. We just go and stab the ocean. Go. Can't be any weirder than everything else we've done. <laughs> be weirder than fighting With- Giant that. Snowman. I think we're gonna take a five minute break. Oh, Jesus. Mm-hmm. And we'll be back <laughs> in five minutes to continue this. <laughs> this chaos. All right. See you guys in five. Uh, hello, everyone. We are back from our break. Um, let's continue uh, the shenanigans, I guess. Did you guys want to discuss more or do you want to like bunk down for the night? Do you guys want to do nighttime activities by yourselves? Is there stuff that you guys want to do? Let me check my list of things to do. I don't have a third level spell. I think, yeah. Are you trying to contact someone i was gonna <laughs> so that i could arcane recovery for a third level you could also if it was bisis that one that he gave you cast sending directly to him oh i forgot about that okay yeah so yeah. you can talk to him yeah but doesn't he know where we're at if i use that like a beacon he can follow you wherever you are now because you have that. He can ping your location. That's true. That's true. Okay, so I guess it wouldn't really matter. It's a good thing you told them about that. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> All about being a double agent. I understand. All right, so... Edgar, look it out. <laughs> are we going to bed tonight, or do you have stuff to do? To do? Um... um. Unless anybody has anything else to say in the in the living room um, where they're at, a layman will be like, I don't know about the rest of you, but I really need some time to process. Use a rest and apparently y'all are sleeping in my bedroom for the night, so. What? Oh, right. Yeah. Did you not hear Faza kick me out when she stormed away? I thought you said we're all sleeping in your bedroom. Oh, this is my bedroom. You're all standing in it. Oh, right. Yeah. You need to clean up. Well, and somebody left cheese all over the table. Uh, all right, everybody. Well, um, I guess we'll pick this up in the morning. Uh, when Elaine goes into her room, she will go ahead and like use the wand to try and message basis <laughs> okay what are you saying uh she's oh, i should have thought about this uh <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to come back to you yes okay yes. so uh you two what's happening are you going to bed are you doing something um how, how late is it it's fairly late i would assume that we already all ate correct yes we're going to say you guys all ate. Conversations, um, like, I think all of this happened after uh, Ale- and, and Masters got back from the previous thing, and you guys have already eaten stuff. You guys went out at night. Yeah. So. Damascus. What have you gotten, man? Do you have any dessert? <laughs> I mean, I've got some apples. That works. You've got some You've got some candy apples. Oh, I do have some apples. candy apples. Yeah. Pull some out. What are you thinking? I think I'm going to get hit again. Um, oh, for fuck's sakes. Let's try it together. She might be a little calmer. We're both going to get hit. It's possible. Hold on. Before we go and knock up, what do we say? that we ain't gonna let her get killed and taken by a cult of evil death people 
to I stop. Think I think those are too many words for us to get punched. I'm open to suggestions. I think we just say sorry and give her the candy apple. That makes a lot of sense. And then we duck. Do you want to go first or do you want me to? It was my idea. I'll go first. So candy apple. you guys get a candy apple. You walk down the hallway to uh, Damascus's room and knock on the door. Yes. You don't hear anything at first. You knock again? Yes. What? We brought you something and and to apologize. It's a candied apple and that was it. You hear a bunch of thudding around the room. She, uh, Damascus, you have a like a vase with some like decorative flowers or something in the corner of one of your rooms and it just gets knocked over at some point you hear it shatter and then there's unlock and the door flings <laughs> open and phase is standing there and she her eyes are just like glowing a little bit black she's clearly like huffing and puffing she's she's not having a good time she's been like raging in here Oh, okay, you didn't have anything. And she puts out her hand. I don't need to have things in my hand to hurt you. Now give me the candy apple. <laughs> we, as in me and Damascus, would like to. She looks at you. Too many words. <laughs> Too many words. You're right. Too many right. words. Sorry. Just hand over the apple. <laughs> she takes the apple from you, snatches it, looks at Damascus, just both of you, and just slams the door. <laughs> Click. <laughs> you're scary when you're mad. Good. <laughs> that was a compliment. It's kind of impressive. Mask has too many words. <laughs> too many words, guys. Too many words. Um, yeah, Damascus doesn't have anything else he wants to do tonight. No more holes to dig himself. You, you're six feet under, bro. I know. Oh. Oh, this is all worth it. <laughs> so, is that all you guys are doing? Um, I know that, uh, this happened last session, but I put in a shield and uh, chain mail in the bag of forking. Mm-hmm. I think uh, it says it takes what, 24 hours or 12? I think it was a 1d4. Oh, for hours or days? Was, do you know? How does the bag of forking work? Yeah, you know, I probably should have looked that up. <laughs> uh, 1d4 hour. Uh, to spit out usable spell components, but I only wanted to turn it into iron ingots. So you definitely, you have them. You def- It's been way longer than that. Yeah, I figured. I was just yeah. the the number of ingots. You put in an entire uh, suit of armor yeah. and a shield. You yeah. have like a bajillion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know how much iron is in an ingot. I think eight sounds great eight sounds right how how much iron is in an ingot an ingot is Is that they're like that big yeah okay yeah sure you have eight i thought they were like little smaller like dollar things no an ingot is like the brick like a gold you know the brick of gold that's an ingot it's generally measured out by yeah i thought they were like yeah i thought they were tiny so yeah you have you have eight sure okay you know what that makes me upset you have ten Okay. Around um, thunder. Yeah. Okay. With that, I'm gonna go back to Alewin. You were about uh, to yeah, cast send it. Send send the message to Bysis. Uh it'll just say uh, Bysis checking in. Please respond. Beloth took without asking again. What do you know about the ocean? Would this be where souls are? Please respond. 
Uh, can you roll me? Roll me a luck check. Straight d20. <laughs> okay. That's a 12. <laughs> 12. Okay. Okay. Um, what happened? With oh fuck, not quite up. okay. You're in your room. The door is closed, right? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Okay. There's a flash of light, and Beltoff appears in front of you, and holding <laughs> the back, holding him up by the back of his pretty much shirt, like he's hanging forward, just like unconscious, is is Vices. She's just holding him up like this. Trying to get in contact with your little friend here. Well, I wouldn't call him my friend. Neither would I. In fact, he shouldn't even be alive, as far yeah, as I, I can know, tell. I know, but I'm trying to figure out why. And you watch as she drops him and he boom, kicks the ground. And she pull, like kind of uses her foot to shove him over and crouches down beside him and puts her hand on his face. And the illusion that that is normally like what he looks like with you starts to be eaten away. And it's just a decaying corpse, like a tiefling corpse. There's like, you can see that there's like half a smile here where it's like being eaten away. There's teeth kind of, you can see through there. And she's like, so pretty in the no and you no, but want to talk to this he knew what was going on or not i don't know he said something about souls and we're trying to figure out what to do with that Mm. Not necessarily that I wanted to talk to him, but he pretty much could kill us. And I agreed because you couldn't get into the sewer, remember? He would have killed us down there. And the only reason he left was because I agreed to help him. I did not say how. All right. So then why don't you just leave him with me? And I'll figure it out for you. You hear at that point, you hear a little <coughs> as he starts to wake up just a little bit and look around the room and see you there. He's like, Illuin? Hey, that's all he says. He just looks at you and he looks hor- like he looks terrified. He's scared. And he's like looking at you, like, help, help, help. Why? What? You know, like, he's been through a lot, right? Try not to hurt people. I have a feeling that you might hurt him. You notice, you know? by the way, just uh, actually. Roll me um, perception. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, I have an advantage on that. That wasn't much better. 17? It's, that's good enough. You can see that her touch is actually sizzling where she touches him on his face. That feels right. Though there's radiant damage that she's doing to him is is causing him pain he's looking he looks horrified he's looking around like he he's kind of like scoped out the situation realizes he's not in his like normal form he's in his well he's in his he is in his normal form he's not like hidden and in front of him is his god and he's just looking at you for help uh You hear, please, 
please don't kill me yet. <laughs> From what I can gather, this one botched the job to bring back to Mina. So, I mean, really, I have you to thank that she's not here right now. But I also have you to thank being stuck in the sky for a week. Hmm. And he's just like, do you want to roll me a wisdom saving throw? Sure. It's a nat one. <laughs> full-blown panic attack immediately you can't think Veloth has the only thing that is connecting you to Inimus and might be the only way that you can get Inimus back that even remotely knows what happened here and he's horrified like normally the cocky um or the cocky or calm because he's very calm around you and nice uh red tiefling that you know is vices is just petrified being held to the floor by a god and even her touch is doing damage to him. Stop. Stop. And you Please. see her form changes into the old, one of the old gods as she kind of just picks him up by his face and looks at you. He's hanging there like, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Shit. Stop. What? Put him down. Put him. You care for this thing? I don't know. I... Yes. No. I um. D don't. Don't kill him. Don't. Don't kill him. I don't know what he's trying well, to do. I wouldn't be I... really killing him, would I? It looks like he's already dead. And I don't like dead things, especially not in my world. And he, you hear him like kind of just whimper a little bit as it sizzles as she like clenches to that tighter. What? Explain to me what you need him for. Explain to me why I'm going to help you. Because from where I'm at, I have helped you multiple times. And you guys have done nothing but be little jackasses. I think the first way to start putting my world back together would be getting rid of this thing. And you hear... Spices start to pray. And it's actually a prayer to Veloth. He was a paladin of Veloth before all of this. He still has the garb. And she like, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, if you all have nothing to say, I think I'm going to take this with me. Oh, I don't know even... <laughs> Hold it. Um, can I... Elaine is going to uh, use I'm going to use my arcane recovery to recover a third level spell. Okay. And she is going to Okay. Uh, she's going to uh, first try and reach for vices can she try and grab him yes you can definitely you can definitely try and grab him what would you um, roll for that i'll say she doesn't even move him she lets you grab him i mean it's not like you can pull him okay. away from her you can try and give me a strength save or a strength a uh, strength throw sure she's gonna try and get him away uh <laughs> no i'm not apparently because that's a five Damn. <laughs> no he's just like oh <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> shit. shit 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 uh eloquent mm. as always uh, 
shit. I don't know what's right, but you're not helping us and he might help. I'm not helping you. You can see into minds. You can see into minds. You can see into his mind. Yes. Hazy. I don't know. He's not alive is the problem. You see, you could tell me. Tell you what, honey? What she did to get him like this. Well, let's find out. And she, you see that glowing hand in front of him. Oof. And he screams because the radiance of all of that, it's painful to him. And she's like, huh. And it gets brighter and he like screams louder. Uh, Guys, roll me perception checks. (laughs) (laughs) All of us? Yes, you too. Now roll for Faza. 16. 19. 19. You hear a scream, a male scream, come from Elewin's room. <laughs> Do with that what you will. That doesn't seem right. I will uh, poke my head out. Maskus will go charge again. Was the door locked? No, I didn't know. All right. So you go charging in. You see Beloff holding vices by his throat um, and this big bright light. And then (laughs) she (laughs) stops it. Still holding him. He's not doing well at all right now. He is like smoking, um, whimpering a bit. And she goes, You relive the same day in your life for years. See? Except you want to know how it was done. He doesn't know how it was done because he was inside. Reliving his that same life. Dying over and over and over again. Wow, ancient. You got the short end of the stick, sir. And she's still just holding him up like it's nothing. He weighs nothing. He's not a small guy. What exactly is going on in here? Why is he here? Belloth, what are you doing? What did I just walk in on? Elena. She. She took, you know, thoughts. So. Uh, she found him, uh, and brought him here, uh, when I tried to contact him again, and, um, I don't know, I don't know, she could kill him, but do we want him killed? I don't know, because she doesn't, she's not going to answer our questions if, if we're looking for answers about souls, but he doesn't know about the, the bubble thing. Uh, I don't know resent that statement i have been very forthcoming with all of y'all and she said he hear, didn't know so you hear him beg he's begging it's not even for his life he's just begging to just live long enough to get enemies back please, please i don't i just need to get her back you can kill me after please don't i cannot die right now uh, after poking Edgar's head out, he uh, will join them. He has information that you don't have, Belloth. I know, and I can take it from him. I don't need him to continue living this undead life of his. It'll be blurry, but if he comes with me to my world, I can, I can work with it. For however long I need him to.
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the right answer is. I uh, I don't want anybody to get hurt. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. Okay. And you see Bella's eyes, are they're glowing, that like white glow that they have as she's looking, as she's regarding um, pretty much uh, Bysis as he's praying to her. He's praying his prayers of, you know, his paladin prayers. Um, Is Bella standing on the floor? Yes. Did she let him go? No, she's holding him up. Okay, she's still holding. Okay. She's got him by the throat. Okay. And, uh, uh, yeah. All right, Alewin. No one gets hurt. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Veter's Black Ice uh, underneath Bella. Okay. What is that? Uh, How do what save is it? Dex, I think? It is a DC 15 Dex save. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> She <laughs> completely fine. Like you do cast it, she made the save. Um, you see her kind of like almost like lose her balance for like half a second. And are you serious right now? Are you, she's squeezing tighter, by the way, as she is like looking at you, like, how dare you cast magic at me? Yeah. I have tried to work with you. She's, he's just, as she's talking, he's just like, I have tried to work with you, flail. <laughs> All right. Hi. He has information that we need. You can get it, but you don't know how long it's going to take. Let us try first. If we can't get it from him, if we can't use him for what we need, he's all yours. It's not any different than telling her to just take face that. I mean, we could also just threaten to. Isn't it though? I mean, though? I, mean I would have kept face safe. He actively tried to kill Faisa and did kill her brother. And you want to protect him. You're a good friend. Let me tell you that. So good. And she looks at you, Damascus. The love you have for her. Oh. I got no love lost for him. He's tried to kill me too. After I threw him off, off a building. But we need what he knows. So I'll get it. And don't worry, I'll figure it out. She starts to glow a little bit. Like, you know how she, the glow when she takes off. I, don't, 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 just. Bella's gonna, er, I'm sorry. Edgar's going to try to tackle her. All right, you can. Go for it. Um, athletics, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. A 10. Okay, cool. She rolled a 16 and then adds 15 to that. Oh, so. shit. A 15? Damn. I mean athletics just to her athletics that's fine you it's like hitting a brick wall you hit her and just bounce off all right so i think i'm gonna go and i'll see you well i'll see you in the end won't i Y'all come to me in the end anyway. And she starts to glow to disappear with uh, Vices. May I try one thing before she does? You can try one thing. Okay. 
I'm going to uh, bonus action. Uh, what's it called? Unsettling words. So her next saving throw, she has to subtract. Come on, roll an eight. Subtract a five. Could be worse. And then... Uh, I'm going to cast Suggestion. And say, I really think. No shit, she's a fae. This is not going to work. Yeah, no, yeah, she uh, can't be charmed. Okay, yes, she can. I'm going to cast uh, bombs, pollen puff. Okay, which okay uh, works even if they can't be charmed. Okay, this ability to charm creatures who would otherwise be immune to charm effects. Uh, okay, it just. She needs to do a uh, spell save. DC 16 wisdom save. Minus five. Minus five? Yeah. All right, let's see. Plus, let me add this in here. Uh, Wisdom save, yes? Sorry, I totally blanked there. Wisdom save. Okay. Minus five. You ain't listening. is, Is a 20. God damn it. Um, silvery barb, so she has to re-roll. All right, let's re-roll this. Lowest. I can only do that once, and then I'm, I'm out of shenanigans. Okay, <laughs> so that's a twenty-five. Okay, it's worth a try. Uh, Damascus, I suggest you shut up and sit down, and I'm going to need you to make me a DC. Uh, 29 saving throw, wisdom saving throw, please. Sure. She might have a lay one, but the lay one didn't cast it. You got a nat 20. I swear to God, I got a nat 20. Okay, okay, nat 20. All right. And with with your wisdom 22. Yeah. All right. So you, here's what happens. You, your mouth slam shut and you go to like start sitting down and you're fighting it and you're fighting it and just as your your knee hits the ground because you're about to sit down you're like no and you pull yourself up your eyes glow green your skin kind of gets this greenish tinge to it and your hair there's just like a little iridescence of like of lilac and your eyes flash Set yourself. We all gods. That means we all work together. Not that one of us is in charge. That was the problem the first time. Let us try first. That was the problem. You're so stupid. Agreed. Give me an insight check on her. 17. 17. She's a little impressed. She's a little happy that this has happened. You were able to tap into that power. There's also a little bit of um, kind of a melancholy. It's very, very small. And she goes, I wasn't in charge of all of us. We were equals. We made this decision together. The only thing I did was screw up and try and keep you around. And she drops. Vices. He hits the ground. You're mute. Did you hear any of that? I heard uh, he hit the he, ground. Mises hit the ground. Hit the ground. Okay, so I hit the mic then. He hits the ground. <laughs> All right. Get what you can from him. And then I'll take him from there. And she uh, taps the side of his cheek to you. I appreciate the time. 
I give her a kiss. Good boy. And she leaves. Disappears in a flash of light. Voices is on the floor. I just look at Alewin. He's your responsibility. I frankly would have let her take him. He is sizzling and just kind of like curled into himself. Like he's never actually seen his god before. I, I don't. I don't. I, if he burns up here, I don't know if we're gonna get any anything. I'll throw a healing uh, word at him. You're fine. I don't know if that works the same way. Yeah, is isn't it radiant? I don't know. Or is it? I don't know how that works. I don't know. <laughs> Can you damage? I'll say, I'll the... say you heal him up. It does actually heal him up a bit. Okay. okay. Just... It hits him and you see that like the, the, the places that were burning stop. They don't heal though. So it stops. It's not as red and agitated, but those look permanent to you now. In the body that he has. Uh Edgar is going to get up uh, and walk over to Bysis and put a hand on his shoulder. He jumps. Her debt's paid. I'm sorry, what? He jumps as he's sitting up like he wasn't expecting it. Our debt's paid. You spared us. We spared you. You and I have no debt. I spared you because he lay when asked. And we all fought to protect you now. Or... And as he sits up, he you see him cast something and his features begin to change and he looks te- like a tiefling again. No more, no longer decayed. But you can tell he's rattled and shaken. This is You don't need to put on any masks. We've already seen what you were. I wear this mask for myself. I don't wear it for you. What if we can't do this? Whatever we're trying to do. What if we can, what if we... What if we're just making it all worse? Well, we're going to have to deal with that one step at a time, but first things first, I think you need to Start believing in yourself. Agreed. You're more powerful than you give yourself credit for, Lewin. No, okay, but if I'm making all the wrong decisions, it doesn't seem to matter, you know? So, and Bella's coming in here and she wasn't, she wasn't supposed to just, you know, step into our minds and just, you know, do whatever she wants and, then I stand here, you know, freaked out because what the hell is going on? I... <laughs> it, it's all right. It's not. I mean, I can't, like... Um, Elewin, from the floor, sitting, sitting from the, sitting up on, like, he's like trying to hold himself up, but is inc- incredibly weak. Bysis looks at you and he goes, all you can do is try, learn from your mistakes and try again. And those are what Animus used to tell you every single time you used to have a panic attack or screw up a spell. Learn from your mistakes and try again. Crocodile tears are welling in her eyes. <laughs> Take a deep breath and make some tea. And that's how that always finished. Every single time you'd have your meltdown, that's how it finished. Everybody, I don't... I don't know if helping him is going to do anything for us, but I also don't know if helping Beloff is going to do anything for us. I don't know who is right and wrong in this situation. 
and can both of you honestly tell me that you trust Belloth fully? Because I don't. And this basis here, the was as frank as he can be about things. And Belloth just sort of dances around the truth and, you know, it. And if we fuck this up, we're going to end the world, I have a feeling. Your crisis language. That? That's exactly what Animus <laughs> would have done you. to you. <laughs> <laughs> language. I don't disagree. Unfortunately, we are at the disadvantage of not playing with a full deck, so we can't we we can't know everything. But I was trying to figure out what happens with souls, and then if we could figure out how to get Threven back as well, there would be no reason to you know, use Faza as a vessel or whatever she's supposed to be. And then we could find another reason. My teacher, uh, and she's going to like look at Bices briefly. Yeah, he's pointedly looking at the floor and not at you. And then back to the others. This magic barely existed, she taught me. So why can't we just make more magic? Why can't we just make something? Why can't we figure it out? You can. It will... It took her hundreds of years to do this, but she did not have a god within her. You can. It will just be dangerous and take time. And we are very quickly running out of time. Danger I can deal with. And as for time, maybe we can get a heads up. Lay, when you said she was your teacher back at school in, is it Horn where you're from? Yeah. She's from, oh, yeah. I'm assuming she had an office, a library, books that she wrote and kept notes, that sort of thing. Well, yes. I mean, I have a handful of her books. I, I look to Bysis. And I'm assuming you know where her real one is, the one that she didn't let the public know about. Yes, I do. Is it in Horn? It is close by Horn. That might be a start. If we can find that information, it might get us a leg up. At least a place to start. There is a mountain on the border of Rhea and Horn. It will be there. Um, yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. You have um, someone waiting there for you. How do we how do we know where that is? There's only one fucking like little like it's like one mountain. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's there's not like one area. It's super hard to find. Okay. Okay. Oh, he probably already found something, maybe. I don't know. It <laughs> I can help you and I can try and find out more information for you. I just need to bring her back. Her soul is in a place of torment right now. And I can't leave her there. Not drowning. Well, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um, no. <sighs> From what she explained to me, there are beings not from this dimension. They have their own place of, of horror. And somehow they have come through to ours. When I was stuck in that loop, she made a stupid decision to sell her soul 
to get me back out and keep me like this. I don't die, but I do age still. We have not been able to figure this out. And when she died, her soul would go there. So she has died. Her soul is no longer here. It is with whatever demon or, or devil or whatever she made this deal. And this was all passed through word of mouth, or do you know books or scrolls or anything? I know what I was told, and I believed my wife. I have been looking into it when I can, but when Elewen came around, she thought it would be better if Elewen had a shadow to keep her out of trouble. Haven't had much time since. When was the last time you spoke to her? To Animus? When you arrived at the campgrounds, she came and got a wand from me so that you guys could have somewhere nice to sleep. And She gave me her instructions so that I could do her job for her. Isis. Yes. Do you think that she knew when she was going to die? No, I do not think she knew she was going to die. I didn't even know she would have thing. told me. I wouldn't she be wouldn't. here. She wouldn't have known either. She just wouldn't have known. I mean, we all don't, but the thing that killed her, she wouldn't have been able to. If she had seen Pat. You know what killed her? He doesn't know this. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, so now we have another conversation. You know, how did you find out that she died? She was a... um, A gaunt one. That's... It was in the woods, and that's, that's all we saw. I everything was very chaotic from there, and that's all I know. Do you want to roll insight check on him? He gonna be mad. I told him. Ooh, fuck. <laughs> uh, that is gonna be a five. All right. Bye. You don't, you, you, you can see him like squeeze his hands and you know, you think he's mad and all of that, but did you kill it? Yes. There was only one? What do you mean? There were a few created? No, there was only one. One? When I was with you around there, there were maybe three that had been created at the time. And they are notoriously hard to track. Magic does not find them. They can conceal themselves from it. No, 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 no. There was one. There was only one that 
There was only one. So where are the other two? No, 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 no. There was only one. I only saw one. I only saw one in his office. And I only saw one in the forest. So we are missing one. Elena is going to like sit down on her bed. <laughs> right. I was really hoping you wouldn't say that. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're missing one. So a gaunt one. So we apparently need more to add to this list of things to pay attention for or something. I don't know. I sorry, Edgar, yes. No. Go ahead and process. Um, but because it's been a, a, a couple of weeks, can you just remind me what a gaunt one does? Because we had a so, brief explanation of it. Do you want me to tell you? I, uh, gaunt, the gaunt ones are the um, they from what you know of them they are um, one of her professors tr was trying to take fey and give mortals fey traits I apologize um, I, it was trying to give them fey traits so by doing this they um dealt with a whole bunch of dark magic and trans kind of like started doing mad scientist experiments on living fae and people and um created the gaunt ones which are just which are like a hybrid of the two and yeah it uh ripped Inimus's heart out and ate it yeah as one does as one does, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. I think I believe Alewin almost lost hers. You were like a turn away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. We got another one of those guys that are going to jump out at us when we least expect it. That's how these things always work. Um, not, not to switch topics. Um, how are you getting into contact with the cults? to go honestly I'm going to go and be charming and see where it gets me he the cult in Frosh I knew because I knew Gwen Enemies and Gwen were close Ugh. So you don't actually know how to get in contact with them again. I know. I know places where they might be. I'm going to go and look. I was not part of this cult. If you know nothing about me, but I was a paladin of Belos. I was not. <laughs> this was not. This is, yeah. I want to pick a new god. She don't <laughs> seem to like you much. Thank you for your suggestion. I will do so. I just I... turned to look at Elewin and Edgar. So what are we doing with him? I would like to leave and go home if at all possible. Elewin can contact me whenever she needs I chose to trust him because of that nifty spell that I uh, cast with the hair. Um, you can't really lie on that stuff. And, you know, so that was enough, the memory that I got to trust him at least now. Well... Do you still trust him? Uh, yeah. 
I guess so. Yes. Maybe. Yes. I don't really trust Belloth either. So, to be honest, you guys, I don't know. That's fine. Isis, run to the cult. The only reason why I say that is because Belloth can't find you. She has a hard time seeing them. Yes. Okay, I can I can do this. He gets up. Uh, I would like to walk over to him and just put a hand on his shoulder and be like, we saved your life today. Edgar may think we're even, but I don't. Find what information you can. Help us save the man you killed. And if you ever even look at Phase of Funny, you're going to wish I'd let you take her. And I don't know if you're going to let me do this. I would like to cast an Eldritch Blast into him and then immediately heal him with a third level healing word. I don't want to kill him. I just want to hurt him a little bit and then fix it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to punch Go ahead. I'm going to make it better. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, both of those hit. They're like a freaking 25 and a 28. Okay. And how much damage are you doing? Might I remind you, he's just been beaten to shit by a, by a god. Probably fine. I actually rolled really low on damage. I rolled a one and a two. Jeez. Uh, so that's a total of... Hang on. 13 damage. Okay. And then I immediately heal him for... Because he gets to do death saving throws and stuff, yes. right? <laughs> you, you, um... One could hope. Is it is it radiant or or force? Because you can force. choose. I I would do force because I don't All want right. to kill him horribly. It was like radiant damage would end him. Um, he and had then... he had ten hit points left. So uh, you Eldritch blast him and he hits the floor and <laughs> dies. Uh, go ahead. And then I do healing word and bring him back. For I'm just gonna roll it on here. Uh. 12 points of healing. So he just... <gasps> just just so we're clear. That was uncalled for. So was kidnapping my friend and killing her I... brother. I don't care. Did it for my wife. I don't care. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. He's laying on the ground just looking up. I and offer takes out a hand. wand. No, he just takes out a <laughs> wand and... <laughs> And blinks away. It's like, no, I'm just going, it's fine. Um, with that, do you guys want to go to bed for the night or you? Uh, we're going to have to figure out what we're telling FaZe in the morning. What about our Rev? We have to fucking tell him. He's been still standing in that corner. <laughs> He's just looking at the corner like, this is fine, guys. You don't even, we don't, we aren't really, I don't know each other that well. <laughs> just the same, like, NPC thing all over. We don't know each other that well. We don't know each other that well. <laughs> oh, we're um, going to get him into his room so that we can stare at the stars. Uh, he went to bed. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he went to bed. Or I went to bed. He was like, you know what? This seems like a you guys problem. I mean, I met you, like, a day ago. I'm just going to go look at the sky. Um. Like- my goal is to bring. <laughs> Bella back. kind of ignores me when I stand here. She's like a T Rex. If you don't move, she can't <laughs> see you. Um. <laughs> <sighs> that that was my goal meeting with Isis this entire time. So what was? I mean, I uh, to bring Thraven back and to get answers about Phaser possibly making her not a vessel or a golem. And I had intended on telling you guys what we'd come across, but we sort of, well, let me put it this way. I sort of 
cast a spell, you know, it's all like, we just haven't had a moment. It's been a time. I mean, I get it, secret agent stuff. <laughs> so I know, I know you might not believe it, but I am sorry. And I will try and figure out how to talk to Faiza as well to make her feel a little better. Because right. it did say nobody gets hurt. I don't want anybody else to get hurt. And I'm starting to wonder if that's going to be possible, you know? So we should probably figure out who is evil and who isn't and, you know, kind of agree on that. Uh, or something. If, if you want, I can I can talk to Faiza. <laughs> I mean, you can if you feel like it, but I haven't had a chance to even talk to her about anything to do with Tamina or anything. I think I can explain it very eloquently and how precise it shall take. Without too many words. With all the words. <laughs> all the words. She'll Beautiful. have a good night rest. She'll The word quota will hopefully be up higher. Uh, and so that way I can, I can tell her about all the good that you've done. We did learn something major tonight that both me and Damascus are, it sounds worse, but we're dumb enough to take on Belloth because we trust you. Took the words out of my mouth. I don't trust biases. But I don't completely trust him either, but I trust you. And I think we get this information that whatever it is that Inamis has stored, we use that and your not too little intelligence. We figure out how to make this work. That's all we can do. I just kind of feel sorry for him. I frankly, kind would, of awful. I frankly would like to rip his wings off and toss him off a building again, but that's just... Me. I mean, I get it, but he really is just trying to reunite with the love of his life that I did kind of kill. Uh, fair enough. So, anyway. All right. I think we should rest for the evening, figure out our next mm-hmm. steps in the morning, and go from there. I think that that is a good idea because we're going to wake up and we're going to be exhausted. Very true. Uh, Edgar, maybe give Faze of the nap. We'll talk to her in the morning. Oh, absolutely. She is extremely pissed. Agreed. And I don't think any of us should talk to her. Completely (laughs) agreed. Uh, As you you guys uh, settle down for the night and like split off into your own different rooms, uh, you, Elewin, have a lot of books that you've been going through since you got them, yes? You have a bunch a of, of like, books. Oh, okay. Brand new books <laughs> yes. that you've been going yes. through. Yes, the tomes. Um, yeah, the tomes that you've been reading every night. This night, um, can you give me an investigation roll? That is going to be a 22 in total. Awesome. Okay, so while trying to calm yourself and just kind of flipping through this tome you are reading, you come across an item, like a picture of an item of clothing that you recognize. Um, you, in, in this book, is a drawing of Damascus's jacket. To a T. Okay. It's got a, a little bit of like garbled and faded text uh, that you that you spend the night working on and you find out that this jacket is a relic and it actually belonged to the king of spring himself, Bum. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you're reading it and you find out that like you're not... I think like you might probably you probably get the hunt, like the idea that Damascus doesn't know how to use this coat properly at all. Uh, Cause you've never seen him use it. 
But um, what Damascus is wearing is Bomb's dashing trench coat of flourishing. It is a long flowing trench coat made out of leather and, and fifle tree fabric. It keeps the wear perfect at perfect temperatures in all climates. Um, it's a dark brown color with dark green floral designs on it. And it counts as um, a set of magic studded leather armor. But it can do this thing that uh, basically if he flourishes and embellishes wearing while wearing this coat, it can grant him some AC for a turn. Yo. Yeah. Okay. Um, if the magic so if you do a little trench- dancey dance in battle, yeah, you get exactly. The if, he, <laughs> if he grabs this trench coat and flourishes in like like the cape part of it, it will you know give him anywhere from a plus three to a plus one bonus or like a uh, bonus AC for that round. Um, and I'll put the stats of it in the actual like chat but i'll make an i'll make an item for it <laughs> um you also get that while while you're reading you get the information you find this information um that there have been about 100 children born in the last 50,000 years that have green eyes with green and yellow cat eyes uh with a damascus silver being listed as the most recent There's a list in this book. That last part, because you cut out, and I feel like it was important for me to know. Uh, the most recent of the reincarnations of Bomb <gasps> is a Damascus Silva. That's weird. I don't know There's what you're a talking list. About. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird, right? Because you're, you're, you're Damascus about. Steel. Damascus is a, is a common weird. name. That's weird. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's, you, you've got that information and you guys head Ooh. off to bed for the night. Um, and I think that's where we're going to call this session. Okay. So All right. much. I don't, I don't know what that, yeah, that's weird. Weird, right? Silver is not your name. Somebody, somebody wrote the wrong name down for sure. Well, I mean, she said uh, Damascus is a common name. That's true. That's probably the guy before me. Yeah, I'm sure it's not a coincidence or anything. Like, yeah. it's, it's gonna be nothing. Um, mistype or miswrite. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's much. <laughs> it's it's really garbled and faded, and like you know, Same. even though they kind of the word the 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 writing that's all in like a whole bunch of different hands gets stronger as like you get closer to these like a hundred the hundredth name is in like a pristine pen from this era, but yeah. Um, yes. So right. I have been uh, your, D- your dungeon master for the night. Um, I'm eyes me stars. You can follow me in places like TikTok and Instagram, and I'll be here to tomorrow night to play uh, Zoe Rue in default right. dungeon master's diary of a dragon pit. Um, Daniel, would you like to take it away? Sure. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places, um, as well as here. Monday nights, obviously. Tuesday nights with stars, uh, where I play Tiberius Leponk in Diary of a Dragon Pit. Lots of fun. It's getting very dramatic now. Um, tonight, I have been Damascus Steel. That is his name. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, our half elf bard warlock, who who just just killed a guy and brought him back to life, sort of, just to threaten him. That's cool. That was cool. He didn't die. He just like got knocked unconscious. It's fine. Yeah, it's like death. a normal Monday. Yeah, it's just what death saves are for. It's fine. Um, I'll throw it over to uh, Nick. It would have been so funny if an undead creature did not get death saves. <laughs> I. <laughs> Pyrea would have murdered you. Yeah. I, yeah, I, uh, I mean, yeah. It, it occurs to me now that I didn't need to hit him with both of my Eldritch Blasts. No, you definitely one. didn't. <laughs> I just didn't realize, I didn't think that I could do that. But whatever, it's fine. I, He's fine. That's right. He's so right. He's alive. He's alive. It's fine. For now. He's alive and sufficiently threatened. That's what matters. 
yeah, next thing we're going to know is there's a Damascus gold. Um, <laughs> oh uh, anyway, uh, hi, I played Edgar. Uh, my name is Nick. Um, I go by Sword X Pen on Discord. Uh, feel free to join us at D in Denial. Uh, and that's it. Pyrea. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Pyrea. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram. And also, uh, it looks like Jess put the Discord server in the chat. So definitely check out there for shenanigans there, as well as if you're looking for uh, like your own D&D art commissions, uh, you can find that in the recommendation tab on the channel. And I was a Lewin Alanthus, the chronology wizard, who still makes dumb choices too. We're all making you know, dumb choices besides Edgar. He tackled a yeah. god. We all make dumb choices. We are the yeah, dumb choice crew. I mean, he also- That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. There is a reason god. that you guys have never finished a cycle, okay? Oh, wow, well, we're dumb. living up to that. <laughs> that's That's our like, Adventuring party name, the dumb gods. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right. Uh, we'll see you guys next Monday. Bye, everyone. Bye.